I've been pushing uh, a vision of medicine called P4 medicine, predictive, preventive, personalized, and participatory for a number of years now. And it is very exciting because uh, conceptually and technically it's reached a real tipping point where we're in a position to fundamentally change how healthcare is practiced. The really critical question is how we bring this vision of P4 medicine to an extant healthcare system and how we push forward these concepts and technologies and new kinds of opportunities. It's very exciting to say I think we have an ideal approach to achieving a revolution in healthcare. The idea is that we would like to uh, create a longitudinal Framingham-like study of 100,000 well patients. We'd like to analyze them for six different types of information longitudinally across a period of uh, 20 to 30 years. During this study, we should see two really interesting things. One, a set of these patients will remain well or maybe increase uh, even in health. And two, we'll see patients that will transition from wellness into disease. And in each of those cases, we'll have an enormous amount of data about what wellness is, or what disease transition is. The assays that we'll be using will be genomic assays with their 300 actionable gene variants. It will be clinical chemistries taken three or four times a year with a particular focus on nutrition. It will be measurements of the quantized self, that is heart rate, respiration, weight, blood pressure, uh, quality of sleep, uh, and the like. And it will be the gut microbiome, which is an enormous interface between our inner body and the outer environment. The gut microbiome promises to reveal enormously fascinating relationships between wellness uh, and disease. And finally, we'll do some blood proteins that are organ specific for the brain, heart, and liver, and these will allow us to see very early on transitions from wellness to disease. The challenge, of course, will be to capture all of this data and integrate it together, and finally, for each individual, create models that will allow us to optimize wellness and minimize disease. One of the major objectives of this study is going to be to find actionable possibilities for each of the individuals. These are possibilities that can increase your wellness or permit you to avoid disease. And examples are, for example, a Microsoft executive which got early osteoporosis uh, in his mid-30s, discovered genetically that he had a defect in the calcium transporter and was able to reverse this disease by using 20 times the normal amount of calcium for several years. Another example would be uh, a young physicist uh, at a Midwestern uh, university that all of a sudden was depressed, had a lock of loss of motivation, no longer interested in his uh, career, that found he was very short on iron and upon reversing that within days was back to normal again. So these are the actionable possibilities we fail may reach out and touch virtually everyone. So the interesting question is, what are we going to get out of these studies? And I would say three things. One, these studies will let us create models to improve health for every single individual. Number two, we'll get an enormous amount of data on people who either remain well or even increase in, in uh, health. And we'll be able to mine that for metrics that precise, precisely define wellness. And of course, the third area from the point of view of healthcare is one of the most exciting. In being able to follow early on transitions from wellness to disease, we'll gain insights into early uh, diagnostics, and even more important, 
early mechanisms that we can use to change the trajectory from a disease trajectory back to a wellness trajectory in very short periods of time. Question is, how are we going to do this? We'll do it by starting first with 100 um, well patients, then 1,000, then 10,000, and then 100,000. And from each stage, we'll take the lessons learned and optimize the studies in subsequent stages. I'm happy to report that our first uh, 100 pioneer program will be starting around March 1st of this year. Uh, we already have the volunteers, we have uh, the assays in place, uh, the analytics are being developed, we're training coaches so they can be the interface between the data and the patient explaining the uh, actionable types of opportunities. So we're on our way, it's going to be an exciting adventure. I think if one thinks about it, this 100K project has virtually every fundamental element of P4 medicine, and I believe it will be the opening wet wedge for an enormous revolution in medicine, one that requires participation on the part of patients, uh, physicians, and the entire healthcare system itself. I envision a time when not only will this program be in the United States, but it'll spread to Europe and Asia. And even more exciting, I can envision a time in the future where it will move to the undeveloped countries. And can one imagine uh, the possibility that there will be a democratization of healthcare that was even uh, inconceivable to think about five years ago or so? These are some of the revolutions, I think, that could come from the 100K wellness program.